Guri takes off his coat and goes to hang it up. But a long red coat with gold buttons is already hanging from the boot. From the hook. Gura takes up his scarf and goes to hang it up. But a long snow white scarf is already hanging from the And on the hook for their wooden caps, they find a large red cap. Guri and Gura take off their wet gloves and socks to dry them by the fireplace. But hanging there already are a huge pair of gloves and socks. I wonder where our visitor is, asks Guri. Maybe he had a long day and has gone to bed early, says Guri. Quietly, they look into their bedroom. There is no one there. Maybe he is taking a bus, says Guri quietly. They look into their bathroom, but there is no one. There is a just then Guri and Gura's noses begin to twitch. Hmm what the wonderful smell say Guri and Gura together. Closing their eyes. They take a deep breath and say, That's the smell of a freshly baked sponge cake. Mm, I bet it's nice. And as he says, Guri. But isn't that strange? Says Gura. Since we haven't baked a sponge cake today, have we? And so Guri and Gura dash off to their kitchen to find out who is baking in the house. Row and behold.
called the in the kitchen is the surprise visitor. He's an old man with a long white beard and jolly red cheeks. And in his hands, he holds a wonderful sponge cake covered with chocolate and cream. Merry Christmas, Gory and Gula, said the old man warmly as he sets the cake in front of them. This is my gift to both of you. Looking at his watch, the old man says, I must be going, or I'll be late. He quickly puts on his gloves and socks in front of the fire. Then he wears his red coat, white scarf, and boots. Finally, he puts on his red cap. And heels his back onto his shoulder. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, he says, and out the door he goes. Guri and Gura run after him and say, Thank you very much for your gift. They wave goodbye until their visitor has disappeared into the snowy dusk. That night, the wonderful smell of the sponge cake brings to all the animals in the woods to Guri and Gura's house. Everyone has tea and cake. And they all talk and sing and dance until late into the night. It is a very merry Christmas for everyone indeed.